So hello everyone and welcome to the part 5 of our Rust series. Uh, in this one we will uh, remove all the unwraps and change them with let's say either map error or ok or or just carry out uh, basic things to make our code robust so that even if an error occurs our code can handle it properly. So if we take a look at our auth handler or any handler, we have two handlers, auth handler and user handler, we have been using unwrap. Now if an error occurs inside let's say in this insert uh, operation, then unwrap won't do anything other than just throwing out the error. Now this is not the way we want our application to behave, we want our application to uh, return a proper response even if some kind of error has occurred. So for that, first let's create a API error file inside our utils. Okay, but first we will also need a package called survey JSON. So let's uh, add that as well. Uh, now let's add our uh, API error inside our mod.rs. Okay, finally let's create our API error structure. I'll have three fields uh, inside this structure message status code and error code message is for any kind of like uh, whatever uh, error has occurred uh, status code obviously the status code of the application and uh, we'll create an error code as well. Okay, finally, we also need to implement uh, into response uh, for API error. Now, what this does is it allows us to have uh, functions from into response into our API error structure. Okay, so let's uh, save our uh, status code first because we will be needing it twice. Let's save it inside in a uh, variable pass. Now let's uh, use this variable. We are returning a tuple. If you remember in the earliest video, we were returning tuple. Uh, we'll do the same thing here. We will return tuples. Uh, first, we will return our status code. Then let's uh, define our headers, application JSON, and finally uh, the JSON or the body of the response. Okay, we need to import uh, JSON. Okay, now everything looks good. Uh, it can't find itself, okay. Uh, it says uh, it has a problem with status code. Let's change the type to U16. Okay, so now everything seems good. Let's go to our handlers and use this uh, in our handlers now. Okay, so in our auth handler, uh, create user. Okay, so first let's uh, check if the user exists or not. So here we are just checking 
that if the email already exists which means the account already exists uh, then you cannot create another user because there can be only one user with uh, one email emails are unique otherwise uh, we should be able to create account uh, okay so let's do map error here so map error will deal with all database errors and it also deals with uh, things like uh, duplicacy of uh, like if we, if we have unique emails right so if we try to insert another email uh, then it should throw error map error will throw error but uh, in this case uh, that won't happen because we are just checking Okay, so first let's map error and now uh, let's do one thing. Let's put a if condition and if our uh, email is none, uh, then we can continue. But if it is not none, then we should return an error. Map error uh, will check the any kind of database errors here. Uh, but uh, if we get none, that's not an error because it is possible to get none if the user doesn't exist. So uh, let's do if condition here and let's do not none. Besides, uh, we need none actually because uh, uh, if the user doesn't exist only then we insert in the database. So we don't want to throw error. If it is none, we want to throw error only if it's not none. So we'll do return error and API error. Okay, let's remove this unwrap as well. Uh, one more thing we need to ch return the uh, return type we have uh, into response currently but let's make it a result and we don't really want to return any data so we'll just uh, parenthesis and and if we have an error then we want to return api error so next we'll put api error okay so this was one method done with all the error handling let's move to the next one that is login user post in this one uh, we have two unwraps so one unwrap can be handled using map error so if any database error occurs then map error will handle it but uh, we can put another uh, thing that is okay or because if our uh, user model is none or we don't have anything for user then we should also throw error for invalid credentials that is so we'll do okay or for that so this OK or uh, will only uh, return an error if our model is none. Let's put status code as not found because this means if it is none, which means that user we weren't we weren't able to find the user. It may be due to invalid credentials. It may be due to user hasn't signed up yet. But we weren't able to sign, uh, found the credentials. Okay, let's return. Uh, let's change the return type as well here. Uh, the return type the, in this one will be slightly different. We will we will be returning a JSON. So first we'll make it a result. And inside result, first uh, uh, first parameter will be our uh, JSON and the type of model that we will be returning. We are returning user model. So JSON user model. And then we have our API error response. Okay, finally, all we need to do is change the return statement and we'll just do OK here and return uh, and remove our status code. And that's all. So this method is also ready with proper error handling. Now let's go to the other handlers. Now we need to do the same thing here as well. Uh, so let's just copy this and use it there. First unwrap is always uh, will always be re replaced with map error to handle database errors. And other than that, if we want to uh, verify that the value is not none, then when you then we can use OK or. But here we don't really need to do that. It's just a uh, update statement so we'll do ok and everything should be good uh, 
in this one we will need to uh, do both map error and ok or because we want the active model and we get active model from model and if our model is none uh, then it should give an error next we have delete user same thing uh, just like before we will uh, remove the first unwrap with our map error and the second one with our OK or Finally, we have all user get and same thing here as well. We only need to remove the first unwrap with our uh, map error and return type will change to result user model, JSON user model. Uh, actually not json user model it's a vector so vector json user model and for error we will have same our api error let's uh, put ok in our return statement and we should be good okay so we have implemented all the error handling uh, Let's run it and test it out in Postman. Okay, let's run for get all first. So this was uh, like a regular request. So we are getting all the users, but we also want to test out for errors. So let's go to, let's say login. And uh, first let's uh, do with the correct credentials. We, get, we are getting the user. Now let's uh, remove this uh, 8 from the password and send wrong credentials. Okay, so when we send wrong credentials, we get not found. Status code 404, error code 44. So, which means our uh, OK or statements are working properly. Now let's go to register and uh, try to create a user that already exists. Again, we get 40 status code 409. This was the custom error that we returned from if statement. Okay, finally, let's go to put and alter the UUID. Uh, okay, so we need to send a proper UUID. Currently, the UUID I just moved a few characters, which is not uh, not, then it is not a correct UUID. So let's just put two back and okay. So we are getting not found here as well, which means our uh, error handling is working here perfectly. Finally, let's test it out and delete also. And we are getting same results here as well. Okay, so all of our methods are working properly with the error handling and returning a proper response, which can be processed further. So that's all for this video if you enjoyed it please give a thumbs up and do subscribe